Tonight is a brand new tip in a child's murder that could help police finally solve this cold case. An Indianapolis paper boy was kidnapped and killed. Tonight we hear from the daughter of the only witness to the crime. She now says her father was the real killer, and she told Eyewitness News reporter Jenny Runovich that fear kept her family silent for 45 years. Found a signature or a name that I did not recognize as being a classmate or anything. So this is Jerry Bales. A rediscovered childhood memory sparked a new investigation into an old murder case that made headlines. Jerry Mike Bales kidnapped, then killed on his newspaper route on Indy's west side. In 1970, Will Ott was around the same age as the victim. The perfect little kid, it seems. You know, he just happened to be at the wrong place at the wrong time that morning. From the best we could tell, he had delivered two of his papers that morning. It was about 5 o'clock, and then his, his bike was found over here. The 10-year-old's body was discovered stabbed and left in a field in Henry County. But a motive, the murderer, police had next to nothing until... He goes, remember the paper boy. He goes, I got by with it. I'll get by with it with you too. Their first fresh lead in 45 years from the daughter of the man who claimed he witnessed the crime. He would remind us and he would threaten to cut us. He was threatened to stab us. She recently told investigators her father was Mike's killer, that he bragged about the murder and threatened to do the same to his own kids. The fear from what happened to Michael. I mean, it, there's no way I put in words the fear that my dad put into us on what he did to that boy. She told detectives her father had a temper that he snapped when Mike's bicycle ran out in front of his car. She says she saw her dad hide the murder weapon in her parents' bedroom. And when I went in there, he had clothes on the bed. They had blood on it. You could obviously tell it was blood it was, and a knife. And he was rolling them up, put them in paper, and put them in a paper bag, and he was putting them in the wall. By the time I came out of that room, I was bawling and was shaking and scared. and I was too afraid to even tell my mom. Over the years, she said she tried to tell police. But I was a kid. No one would listen. Until her dad passed away, she said it was safer to stay quiet. Now, detectives will try to figure out if the witness on the street that day was actually Mike's murderer. If after all these years, this case might close. He was definitely in the area when this, when this crime occurred. Now, whether he was a witness as he initially claimed to be or, you know, possibly the perpetrator, we haven't been able to confirm that yet. If I could have gotten the law to listen to me or the school when I was eight years old or when I was 20, it would have been solved a long time ago. Jenny Runovich, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Now the witness's daughter says there was another man in her dad's car on the morning of the murder. But she was only seven years old at the time and only knew him by the nickname Cowboy. Detectives say tracking him down could be key to this case. We have more on the police investigation. Just go to our website at WTHR.com.